Welcome everybody to Game Sushi, my name's Alex, and today we're playing a game called Casebook. Um, this is an FMV game. It's an older game uh, for Windows XP um, and Vista, so it is not a new title by any means, but it is an FMV point-and-click game, and you guys know how much I like those. So stick around, you won't want to miss this. Casebook. Um, it's like a mystery FMV type game, and I saw this on eBay. It looked like the type of games I really enjoy playing, so I had to get it. And with tax and shipping, I paid under ten dollars. I think it came out to like eight something um, to my door. And uh, I think it's funny. It still says uh, Best Buy. It has the Best Buy tag on it, and it says 1999, and I definitely did not pay that for it. So, uh, in my eyes, I see it as a pretty good find, um, even though I know probably there's not that many people out there that enjoy these kind of games, but obviously you are one of those people because you're watching this. Um, one quick thing also before we get started. I found it really strange that even though this is made for Windows XP and Vista, I had such a hard time getting it installed on this Windows 7 laptop because v Vista and Windows 7 are not that different. I mean, they're based around Windows NT. The X-Files game, I had a much easier time installing that and that's based around Windows 95, Windows 98. That should have been the hardest to install by far, but that was not the case. Um, Windows Defender was going off. Like when I was trying to run the executable off this disk, Defender was just like telling me, no, it's it's malware, don't run this. And then um, Avast was also um, going off too. And then even when I disabled both of those, it still didn't want to run. And then I opened command prompt, navigated, oh wait no, I copied the files locally and then with um, Windows Defender and Avast disabled, I opened Command Prompt as administrator, navigated um, to the directory I needed to, ran the executable, and then finally then, I think I got it to install, if I remember correctly. Anyway, um, crazy. Let's, uh, let's just get into the game. So for Active Detective, it says my name already. Um, for set options, there's really not a whole lot. I, I can adjust the mouse sensitivity, but for me, this is fine. And then the subtitles. Um, so let's just hop into it. I don't know what to expect. I haven't looked up anything about this game. True to game sushi fashion. Um, if you're new to the channel, I never read the controls. Um, you, can, you can bet your butt I didn't bother reading the manual. Um, I mean, why would I, right? I just figure I'll just, I'll just wing it. Like I always do. And we got some nice little trees. Dang, that's a nice house. This looks very wholesome. Oh dear. So I take it she's the nanny, bringing some kids some snacks. All right. Three Melanie, if I want to see the kids again. I don't really read exactly what that said, but it's a ransom of some kind, obviously. 
So uh, this is episode one. It's called Kidnapped. He tells an off already. I know it's early, but we got to be on the ball here, partner. Kidnapping's never easy. Officer on the scene already took statements. This one's two kids. Harry and Greta Bertraman. Father's Larson, director at Slade Forestry. Her mother died last year, but Mr. Slash and Byrne remarried a few months back. Some ex-soap star. You may recognize her. I don't have a TV, but it's nice out this way. Lots of trees. Unique. I know the department's stretched pretty thin right now, so don't get upset if I ask you to do a few things for me. Get my hands on this. Well, I'm glad I'm not your feet on this. Let's get you into the crime scene. He's got to have back pain to have such oddly. Well, this is the place. Shaped Looks legs. Like the kidnapper came and left through that window, but we'll need to know a lot more than that. Forensics did a quick sweep, marked the obvious stuff. Those footprints are a good place to start. I'll get some shoes from the family to compare against and see you down at the van. Okay, you are here. Um, Objectives, bedroom, match footprints, check out the muddy footprint. Can you link it to anyone in the household? Well, I only know of the maid so far, so I don't really know how successful I will be at that. Space to open, close, notebook. Okay. Um, okay, so I can just pan around. Pretty nice little room. Um, hold down the, laugh, the left mouse button to walk towards the footprint near the window. Oh. Oh, dang, that's kind of weird. I didn't expect. Now right click to take out your camera. Okay. Wow. Uh, left click to take photo. Okay, you know, uh, right click to put away the camera. Let me, let me back up a little bit because I think I'm too close. Okay, I'm gonna right click. There we go. Out of range photo. This photo cannot be used as evidence. Make sure there's a red X around the subject. Then adjust the zoom by using the mouse wheel or arrow keys until X in the the X in the crosshair disappears. Uh, too close to subject. Okay, well, you told me to move towards the friggin' window, so that's what I did. Too far from subject. Jesus, you are picky. All right. You got that shot of the footprint? Then head down to the van to analyze it. Time's against this partner. What, but isn't there any other evidence you want me to look at? Good, now walk towards the door. When a door icon appears, left click to exit. But I feel like there's a lot I can still kind of look at. Okay, I guess there's not much else I can look at. Like, I get this is a kid's room, but this is... Like, I don't, I don't know if I would put that up in, in my room. 
Like, it's just very weird artwork. Like, I know, obviously, it's a, it's a children's book, but the, there's just something off about it. I don't know. It just, like, that panda's cool, panda party. Of course, why wouldn't you want to have a panda party? I mean, you'd be crazy not to have a panda party. But this pig looks a little bit too terrifying. I don't know. I just, uh, I'm not a fan of that. What is this? Friendly, friendly penguin? Friendly, uh, who cares? Why is there an elephant and hanging out with penguins? Or is that a mammoth? I don't know, whatever. Okay, good. Now walk towards door when door icon appears. Left click to exit. Okay, navigation is kind of strange. Hey, over here. Hey, mate, I'm Pete, the forensic scientist around here. Your first day, and they send you to a kidnapping with Burton. You must have been evil in a past life. But don't worry, he just asks the questions. It's me who gets you the answers, scientifically speaking, of course. Okay. Um, to do. Photo pho pho photograph. Photograph crime and scene. Photograph crime scene. Okay. Photograph crime scene. Process evidence, sort and link. So I already did the photographing, so now I process evidence. So connect the camera. Okay, that looks much higher resolution than when I took the photo. That's great. Should I print it? Okay. Should, what, what do you want me to do? Collect chemical sample with a swab. With the picture? Isolate the chemical sample. Okay. Round, round, round we go. Where we stop, we do not know. Oh, check that out. I can really speed it up. I got these from the family. The Academy called them exemplars because they love to make things complicated, but it's not. What? When you found a piece of evidence, you need to figure out where it came from. Right now, you got a footprint, so you need shoes. It's that simple. Once you've processed them, you can compare them against the footprint you found. Maybe it's one of these, maybe it's not. But eliminating the possibilities is half the job. So let's get to it. To save time, I'll get Pete to auto-process the family's exemplars for you. Okay. Well, I can tell it's probably not Sylvia's shoes because the shape is not... Obviously it is not. Sylvia Birchman. Larson's shoes. Larson Birchman. Clara's shoes. I'm assuming that was the uh, maid. Yeah, okay. All images processed to evidence folder. Okay, evidence printed. Now what? Computers are good, but they can't do everything. If your evidence isn't in the DNA or print database, then you have to link it manually, like a fiber from a shirt, for example. Drag your shots from the stack onto the evidence board. If one has a chain link symbol, it may link to other evidence. Don't worry if it sounds complex. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Unless you're an idiot, in which case you will never get it. Drag and drop the shots from the stack onto the folder and arrange them as you like. Each location has its own folder. Click on the folder tab to swap between them. Uh, at the top of the folder are the character cards. Clicking on the person will display their dossier. The photo contains a red chain link symbol. It can be linked to other items such as shoe to footprint. Clicking on the photo highlights items it might link to. Drag and drop a shot onto another to test the link. 
If the connection is successful, the linked photos will contain a blue chain link symbol. Okay. Um, that sounds simple enough. Um, okay, let's get Clara on here. Clara Mitworth, born 1957. Wow, she's only 4'9". That's very short. Extremely short. Um, Nana for Birchman, family employed for eight years, discovered kidnapping. Okay. Greta. Um, youngest child of the Larson Birchman kidnap victim. So she's eight years old. Okay. Harry, 12. Eldest child of the Larson Birchman kidnap victim. Larson Birchman, father of Harry Greta Birchman, first wife of Charlotte, died of leukemia 18 months ago. Recently remarried Sylvia Birchman. Chairman of Slade Forestry. That seems very fast to get remarried. I would sneeze. I would see. Oh, man. It's a good thing you're on the other side of the screen. I just sneezed. Um, Sylvia. Ex actress from The Rich and the Ruthless. Recently married Larson Birchman. Rich and the Ruthless. I wonder if that's some foreshadowing. Exemplars. Bedroom. Okay, I'm going to put Clara's shoes here. I'm going to put Larson's shoes here. Let's put Silva's shoes here. Let's put the money for... What the hell? What? What the... That isn't the shoe that made the print. So that footprint's not from the family. There's some sort of acid in it. Okay, well, let's not howl at the moon just yet, partner. We still gotta figure out where it came from. Why don't you get back inside and see what else you can find? Okay. Um, but I was just in there. Why, why wouldn't you just tell me to look for other stuff instead of... Hey, partner. You know, I'd be surprised if the kidnapper left any fingerprints in here, but there's a whole lot more he could have left behind. I'll need you to search for trace evidence. Check the beds and around the window. That birdcage, for instance, probably didn't start out smashed. I'll be back soon. What are you doing, catching Pokemon? Like, why... why... Am I doing all the work? Um, track the kidnapper. What? How do I track the kidnapper? I mean, what do you want from me? Party Panda, can you help me? But what am I supposed to do? Make sure you look closely with that thing. What's that academy joke? Check everything they should have touched, then everything they shouldn't. I'm just like taking pictures of stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing, bro.
The kidnapper would have to be a chimp to leave prints on that. But you never know. Well, he could be a chimp. Birds often return to their cages. Maybe it feels safer. This one's going to be disappointed. I mean, I feel kind of dumb. Because, um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, man. Okay, so I, I guess it's not the fibers. But why wouldn't it be the fibers? Am I too close? Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, I don't... Okay, so I don't understand how I'm supposed to take a picture of this one. Because I've taken pictures of all the other... thingies. But like... Did I? Yeah, I took one, two. Wait, no, I didn't. Okay, maybe I'll get some direction here because I don't understand. He's missing an eye, and we're still missing two kids. Doesn't look relevant to me. There's no prints on this, not even Clara's. Paper's too rough. Just like magic. Look at the striations left by the nib. They drag to the right, so your kidnapper's left-handed. But what that word means, junkie, well, that's your job. This could be from your kidnapper. I can't tell you much other than it's nylon. So the guy's probably not rich. But then, millionaires don't need to kidnap people. Now, if the kidnapper fell on that birdcage, it makes that piece of fabric an important lead. It's a nice piece of work, but not exactly relevant, is it? Okay, well, I'm just trying to figure out what is relevant, okay? If ever a clock said time is running out, it's this one. Oh, my God.
I took fingerprint exemplars off the family. Once they're auto-processed, the computer can identify their prints. If you find them. Okay. Got you DNA exemplars from the family, and Pete will auto-process them. It's not like he ever leaves that lab. Oh dang! He just took a. He just snubbed Pete for not having a life. We can't get samples off the kids, obviously, but it is their bedroom. There should be hair, fingerprints, DNA. Check their clothes, their beds, furniture, anything they might have been in contact with. We need something to track them by. So I'm just basically going back and Sometimes forth. dirt tells the best story. Look for any recent stains or markings. I saw something on the floor by Harry's bed. Maybe you should check it out. Did you? Did you see something? Because if, if you could point it out to me, that'd be great. I mean, you could make yourself useful. Partner, I don't know what it is that you're doing outside. You dummy. Yeah, so this game doesn't really hold your hand at all. And I mean that's not a it's not a bad thing. I'm sure we can get fingerprints off of the toys. Too far from subject. Really? You want me to get that freaking close? Too far from subject. Holy crap, how close do you want me to stand there? You were the pickiest son of a bee. Okay. Um, I don't know what I just took a picture of. It looked like Something wet. So, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take a, a picture of that fiber again on the bed. They didn't let me do it before, but I'm gonna try to get it this time. Oh, come on, too far from subject. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I did it. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work the first time around. But uh, I got that. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to think of things that would have DNA on them, just like the, the dude said. So, I mean, there's like a cup. Um... Okay, yeah, he was modeling something. So. You're mainly gonna find traces of the family in here, but that's to be expected. Nevertheless, we need to know who's been in here besides the kids. Look for places people put their hands, things they touch, hair, fingerprints. I wanna know everything about this room. Where are you going? 
Um, we need to know who's been in here. Yes, I know that. I know that. I've been taking pictures of stuff. Um. What? If you're not sure what to photograph next, put away the camera and hold I, the I key. Your intuition will guide you to the next piece of evidence. So thank you, game, for throwing me a bone. Uh, but you basically are telling me I'm a big dummy. Okay. I never would have guessed to look here. I should have. Camera full. Okay, now the camera's full. So, um, anywhere else I should look. Right there. What is that? I don't know what that is. But my camera's full now. So, um, I'm believing. I'm going back to the van. I'm going to have a talk with the nanny. See what her story is. Yeah, find out why she's so short. She's like borderline. I just leprechaun. Can't believe it. It's my fault. I left it open. I never lock it. A window. Hugo left the ladder there. Underneath. He left in such a hurry. Were you seen him long? How did you know? I'm trained to. Family didn't know, did they? It hasn't exactly been the love boat around here. Lawson doesn't talk to me, he doesn't talk to anybody. God, you've got to find my kids. Your kids? Who's going to love them now Charlotte's gone? Not that actress. Lawson, he does, but... But? Charlotte died. There's his work, and now this is so... I noticed. Don't judge him too soon, Mr. Burton. He's not the man he seems. He had his reasons for firing Hugo. It's people's reasons I'm interested in. Just bring them back. I will. I checked on the gardener. Name's Hugo Mayer. He's got a prior for stealing plants, but that's it. Kidnapping would be a big step up. I don't think he's even in the city, but I'll see if I can track him down for you. Stealing plants. As a gardener. I mean, unless you're growing mushrooms or, you know, um, I just, I don't get the stealing plants thing. Clara says she left the window open for air like she always does. Kidnapper came up the ladder. It was under the window. The gardener Hugo left the ladder there. Recently fired. Clara and Hugo were having an affair. Partners in crime, not exactly. The love boat. Larson and Sylvia unhappy? Question mark. Okay, what is the stain? Uh. I think someone misunderstood the phrase, a drop of whiskey. Uh, Spectrographic tests showed elevated nitrate salts. From the Argyle region, perhaps? No surprises there. Everyone's been in the room except the kidnapper. Unless it's one of the family, of course. Larson was in the kid's room last night. He didn't mention that in his statement. But I sure smelt whiskey on him, like he'd been rolling in the stuff. I think it's time I had a little talk with the parents. Okay. Well, now I feel a little bit better um, knowing that he's doing the talking with the with the people in interviewing. So I will excuse him.
for having to leave every every time um, you know I need to find evidence without helping. I mean that makes sense. Um, I want to go back to the bedroom though because. Inland. My partner's still investigating the bedroom, but I wanted to talk to you. That is a nice orchid. Should I go? No, please. Make it quick, detective. I've got a ransom to organize. You were here last night, both of you? What time did you get to bed? I'm sure he doesn't know. Oh, don't start. I worked here till about one o'clock, and then I went to bed. When I woke up, they were gone. Someone had broken into my house and kidnapped my children. And I didn't hear a goddamn thing. But you were in their room. When? Last night. I went to say goodnight. And you'd been drinking? I'd had a drink, yes. I'm not an alcoholic, if that's what you're implying. I gather most people drink themselves into oblivion nightly, Detective. Oh, yes, pill queen. I'm sorry, Detective. I'm still foggy. It's the stress. Is that what you call it? This isn't a time Could someone from your company have done this, Mr. Bridgman? Anyone you've upset recently? No. I'm good to my people. This isn't revenge. It's about the money. Do I have to show you the note? Revenge isn't just for a soap opera. I've had some letters lately. Hate mail. What? Since we fell out with Hugo, our gardener. We had to let him go. His work was slipping. Could he have done it? God, I don't know. Well, is there anyone else then, Mr. Bridgman? Anyone who would single out your family? I told you, no. You're the detective. Do your job. And I'll do mine. I've got lawyers to see. Three million isn't pocket change. Is that all right, detective? If I go and save my children? <laughs> Jeez. And the whole time she's just like giving very intense stares or just looking aloof. Um, okay, Larson had missed being in the bedroom last night saying goodnight. He had been drinking heavily. Uh, Larson has no idea who'd want to do this. No one from Slade, really. Sylvia received hate mail started after Hugo was fired. Revenge. Larson calls his wife Pill Queen. Sylvia on meds. Sylvia's hate mail. You witch, how could you? You just dumped him and drove him... Away in your pink Ferrari, poor Blake. You didn't ever think of him, did you? He paid for that car, you gold digger. Well, you'll get yours. There's no prints here. But if you can find anything to compare this handwriting to, we might have something. Oh, check this out. I like this thing, whatever this is. It's weird. You can see each note coming through, like they were all written at the same time. What, can I read what that one was? It's nylon. Almost certainly from a rope, to judge by the braid patterning. Find the one it matches, and you'll find the kid it's tied around. We don't know whose print that is, yet. Wait, did I do that right though?
Hot chocolate. It's not a crime. Yet. I don't get what I do with these. Somebody's gonna have a snide comment, I bet. I don't think the answer is going to be in any of these books, sadly. Oh, let's put a sock in it, Pete. be wrong, but I don't think this is going to tell us anything. It's nothing to do with this case. Well, it's a nice photo, but it's not evidence. It's nothing to do with this case. Okay, okay, jeez. Um... Now that I know I can do I. Okay, I'm probably not close enough. here. Okay. Pillow? Um. What? Too far from subject, okay. Gotta get closer. Okay. Um, what else? There was something it was showing me the last time I was here. It was like, here somewhere? What is that? Like, I don't even know what that is. What? Okay. So I think this time around I'll have a lot better stuff to go off of. What? Obviously, because I'm I'm cheating here. I 
I'm cool with that. Maybe you'll get a print off that. Or perhaps Pete will find some inspiration. Pete can... Hug a lamppost. Shoot. Well, I don't know if that's... No, yeah, it is saying I should check that out. Well, camera's full. Apparently, the only camera I can get my hands on is one that can take eight pictures. Like Picasso, it's incisive, if a little naive. But I'm not complaining. You just found a print exemplar for Greta. So that's her print on the cup, too. And almost certainly her DNA in that saliva you found. So I just toss these things around until they turn gray, apparently. Come on, you stringy bastard. There we go. There's DNA on this. And given that it's Harry's jacket, it's almost certainly his. I need you to listen into this one, partner. It's the kidnapper. Money will be there, I promise. When I'm more than the girl go, but I still got the boy. So don't screw with me. I won't. I, I just... He's on a cell, but we only got the rough area. We don't know if Greta's safe yet, but keep working. They want both their kids back. These are... Pretty messy, but something was dragged over the windowsill, like a small child. We got a call, partner. They found her 20 minutes ago, wandering the streets, completely dazed. Larson was happy, I think, but she's in a bad state. All she says is Harry wouldn't wake up. It's something about a pipe. Other than that, the kid's catatonic. Still, if Greta can't tell us where she's been, maybe you can. I've brought you evidence, partner. We got it from Greta. Hopefully you'll find some clues about where she's been. That's messed up. Okay, um, what was it? This, this joystick, I think. I think it's like a... I don't know what that is, to be honest. A backpack. Huh. Okay, there's nothing else actually, so uh, let's go check out this evidence then. Okay, and we got some good stuff. Oh, 
There we go. There's a fingerprint. Oh, look at that. Table. So he was putting together some models. Um, that's actually one of my hobbies too. I really enjoy putting little war miniatures together. I guess Larson was rocking one of his kids on the horse. Am I supposed to trust him now? We found these on Greta. They're fibers from a heavy rope, better for towing cars than tying up kids. You should check them against the fibers from the bedroom. There's more phosphoric acid here, some activated carbon and sugar. I've put together a list of processes that use these ca- <laughs> Benzodiazepine isn't something I expect to find in small girls' bloodstreams, but there's enough here to drop a bull. That's how the kidnapper got them out. He knocked them out. A dose this large also causes anterograde amnesia. She won't remember any of this. Thankfully. I wonder if it was in the hot chocolate. You know, what if it was the uh, Maid and Hugo? I, I don't get this this one like where do where do I move them to it came from Greta's bed and it's the right color chances are it's hers hmm okay oh that was fast cat basket Satchel. It may turn out to be important, but I doubt it. Well, thanks. Well, it's a nice photo, but it's not evidence. Pete, you are just a delight, let me tell you. Um, okay, so... Cat basket. Hair, hair, oops, there's blood, there's clothes, there's rope marks, joystick, rocking horse, um, table. Interesting. That acid. The stuff from the footprint. It's all over Greta's clothes, too. The marks on her wrist came from the rope you found. No surprises there, but good work. I know they taught you to read evidence in the academy. 
There's a lot of information here, partner. I just hope you can make sense of it all. Because Harry's counting on you. Okay, well, I was just, I was just literally putting it together. It could be the same script, but I'd have to see a larger sample. It's worse than Burton's. Pete thinks that whoever wrote the letters to Sylvia probably made the ransom note, too. Which means this could all be about her. But we don't know for sure, so keep looking, partner. This isn't over yet. Oh, I can put... Oh, okay. I didn't know I could do that. It's the same rope. No surprises there. Keep it up, partner. We picked Greta up on the railway lines near the waterfront, and the kidnapper's call came from one of the cell phone towers nearby. So we know he's in the area. We need to isolate his location, partner. So let's get started. It has to be one of these cell phone areas. You found phosphoric acid on Greta's clothes, carbon, and sugar, but they could have come from a dozen places, and we haven't got time to search them all. If you select part of the industrial zone, we can cross-reference against factories which you There's a factory in the area. If it uses the same chemicals you found, we'll hit it. That's it. A sugar factory. Of course. They use the acid to process sugar, and it's been abandoned for almost five years. Good work, partner. I'll make the call. Too detective on you here, but I don't trust Larson. Everyone lies a little. You learn to expect that, but he's not being straight with us at all. I tell you, we had him followed. You can just go see a lawyer. I went and saw a loan shark. You can bet I'll be asking him about that. Then there's the stepmother, the actress. She seems a little too calm. But maybe it's those pills she takes. And the nanny. I don't think she's lied to us yet, but... Doesn't mean she won't. I can tell when people are lying. Their smell changes. Looks like we're late for the party. First, we need to establish if the kids were even here. If this is where he stashed Harry and Greta, there will be traces of them. As soon as you found something, get it to the van. I won't be far away. Okay. So, I think we're going to leave it here. And then, next time, we'll just pick up from this scene. And uh, we'll see how many different ways we can make Pete... Um, dislike us even more. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.